Hi and welcome. My name is Chawa and we're playing Coffee Talk. Yeah. So um let's begin. Uh last time it was not uh second night. Let's see. Uh despite losing a member, Super S Super Smile's latest album sold a million copies. Oh, it's a uh, music. Uh, vlogging is now part of curriculum at some private high school. Stop workplace racial profiling, the Orkish Workers' Union demands. Why did it start the day? It start the night. Ooh, ooh, hi. Yo. A cup of honey milk, honey milk, please. Right away. Ooh, nice. Um, milk, honey, milk, two times, wait, I can brew it like this, right? Yeah, let's add a little bit more milk, wait, um, let's see, a gala, birthday, no, nothing changed, height, Birthday, 8th February, Vegan Vampire, Professional Model, CP, Alyssa, okay, nothing else. So this lines means that uh, the deepness of our relationships, if there's three that I'm very close friend. Uh, let's see, a brew pad. Oh, ginger latte, coffee, ginger, milk. Okay. Warm energy boost, perfect for a cold evening. Coffee, ginger, milk. Um. Wait. Um. No, no, no. A cup of honey, milk, please. Okay. Brew. Ooh, serve it. Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know how to make her voice. I mean, she's a orc, but must be I. Um, this. I don't know. Make it like this. Hey, Chawa, seems like there's a cat. What? Oh my god, she's got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey kitty cat, what are you looking for? Want some milk? Ew. Hi barista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Holy, you look like you've just seen ghost. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Neko Mimi transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends. I won't say I have. You folks usually you folks usually use your felon form to commu commute. If I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical than commuting as a I mean that commuting in a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have a milk please? Oh, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, milk and nothing else. Um, do I need to make it like this or I can just, just one milk? Oh. Oh, I can see what it add. Nice lemon and ginger. No milk and nothing else. One milk or two milks? Three milks. I don't know, is it going to end? Let's go. 
Three milks. Nice. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown up who can take care of herself. Uh, you don't look like a grown up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Er, uh, I don't. Oh my, are you? Just say it. If this is something illegal? Or if you are in danger? Blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine? Exactly. Seriously, you've never seen me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch my mainstream media. Pfft, snob. Part of the broke the but woke movement. I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What? Too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not that great for business, no. Oh really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your grother. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So what do you want to order? The usual. Brew it. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you like it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you a Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? And started her solo career? Aha! Uh -huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. I'm serious, but you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. To drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked. No, seriously, why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folks problems. I had a fight with my father. And so here I am. Yeah, I see. But is is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? I don't you don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. No, I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't look like uh, he doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What what are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. You your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Okay, who is there? Oh, Georgie. Good evening, Chowa. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Chowa. Yes, officer? 
I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a br brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea? Okay, green tea, lemon and honey. Let's brew it. Oh, nice. You really knew how to serve it. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Er, uh, cough syrup? Of course you do. Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn! This is great! How's your take going? Anything out of the ordinary in your patrol? Yeah, anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary in my shift today. Tell me, tell me. I'm you sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. Seriously? Yeah, today is a payday. And I checked the ADM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that and the labor union protest, everything is fine though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. I hope to see you again. Bye. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read. I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere to let's to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? How do you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop! It's not this job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop! That's exactly his job! Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah? Mr. Policeman uh, here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Joji? Of course, this is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? What? Don't look at me that way. You're a couple, man. Act like one! I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone's else other? You should know! Worry, you're a father yourself! Oh, right, um... Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. Uh, why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish... Uh, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? 
Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't leave these things unresolved, an argument makes things better. And it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. He wasn't like this before. Before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Um, nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I have to admit it, conflict is always the best way to, to know someone. Even your own blood. It was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom gone, I don't have anyone to act on my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second, you say this has happened a lot? But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait, maybe it's because I'm the one who always run away? Using my job as an excuse? I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again, you both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I can understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run out even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. And you don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But no, no, I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are, are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So they, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neckertown. Oh, that's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? Old man, oh, of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll, we'll be all then. Thank you, Chavo and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Chavo. No. Oh. And what do you want to say now? Freya, um, wait, let's see, now we have a rage, ooh, George is our bestie, favorite things, movies, police, university, cop story, Robert Cop. oh, really, what am I doing with my life, father of three beautiful girls, cool, and Rachel, Which one is she? This one. Right? Rachel, birthday, 29th February. Can... Wow, 29th February. Uh, birthday, one in uh, four years. 
Yeah, that was a joke. Uh, birthday. Okay, contact Rachel for business inquiries. Okay, but we're not friends for now. Okay, let's continue. Wait, what? There's some. Oh, a cough syrup. Nice. And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's not nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows, maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know I may end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing though. The coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always, always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay then, take care. Be careful on your way home. Hmm, so that's the... It's a day. Shy Adeni, sweetie spicy chai latte from the town of Aden, Yemen. Another night. Another guests. Friday, Friday September 25th. Uh, the Orkish Workers Union in talks with the government over their pleas. Rap Group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro proco-eterism lyrics. Werewolf activists imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. Okay. Oh! Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Yal is coming. After his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. Y you're our first customer tonight. Heh. <laughs> um, is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange that you say our. When obviously there's only you here. Oh. I guess it's just me, but when I'm working... I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you th did you think I was serious? Oh. Nah. Give me a ginger green tea. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Ginger green tea. Okay. Green tea? Ginger. Yeah, more ginger, I think. It's better. Yeah, more ginger. Very warm and bitter. Like this. Let's make it. Ooh. He sliced the gin ginger. Ooh, nice. The drink is ready. Let's see. Good. Glad you liked it. By the way, if you don't mind my asking, ask away. You said you were here for work. Yes, for a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I could never imagine myself going something so... Hmm, what's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm. Then, are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se. But definitely not as honorable as working in a hospital. Then what is it? 
Yes. You travel a lot, more or less. You befriended a startup founder. So I assume you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. Hmm. I used to, but not anymore. The startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while. So right now, I'm a model. I didn't expect that. What? You see that here? There it is. Supermodel. Myself summary. Poor part of lost, lost angels agency. Old enough yet still seeking the truth and purpose of life. Ooh. But you have the looks in the figure. So I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skin care products? No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. Skin paler than an elf's? Well, we don't have those annoying pointy ears. Which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better do to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Is that false advertising? Huh. Don't be naive. Truth is a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertising is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Ah, uh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Whoa! Good evening! Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person, if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a uh, regular here. That's the attitude. Hey! You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, no, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states. Either extreme excitement or super stress. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy crap, 30 years of modeling? That's a long time. Not for me. My current li liaison in the clothing brand I work with is the daughter of the guy I worked with when I started modeling. Usually I work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay. But I'm stuck in and I need of a warm drink. So brew me something please. Coffee? Nah. I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet without a coffee. Warm and sweet. Woo! How much of this undiscovered things? Without coffee? Warm and sweet. Okay, so most warm is a tea. So base is a tea. Warm and sweet. Oh, cool. So if I add this one. Nope. Okay. Wait, reset? No. No, 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 no. Reset. Okay. Uh huh. So, really, I need a three base. Base and three. Okay, if I. Oh, I cannot do this.
Ooh, nope, reset. Milk. It's very warm. Yeah, I can use it. Like this. So basically it's 4 warm and 5 sweet. And if I use a tea. I can make it more warmer or better. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee. Warm and sweet. Yeah, let's go with this one. Warm and sweet. Tea, honey tea. Let's make it. I hope you like it. Cool, take it. Our warm sweet drink ready. Nice, a perfect drink to end a day. Glad you liked it. So you're a writer. Yeah, I work for the Evening Whispers, but I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Uh, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever managed to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So, not fantasy or sci-fi. Hmm, I'm still not sure. Probably it'll be no a normal slice of life. We have no competition. You're not wrong. I probably bought some surreal elements in there. Put there. Maybe I'll set in it in a world where only humans exist. Huh. Sounds a bit racist. That's the twist. That this is this isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even a, in a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. Yeah, that's a bit true. How can they be racist with our other races? Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color? When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Yeah! Wow, that's my thoughts. Perhaps it's the diversity that can teach us to look past the differences. The bottom line is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. Does, that doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fiction's for, anyway. Painting the what ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Oh, thank you. Gala. No, it's Lua. Hi everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How is it going? Great, thanks. Lua, please meet Hyde. Please meet Hyde. Nice to meet you, Mr. Hyde. And Hyde, please meet Lua. Hi. Are you by yourself? Yeah, I just finished my meeting. I need to escape from my co-workers. So I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? No, he's not. He's a freelance, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Oh. We shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood of a green lit tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. Green tea latte. Okay, is there a... Oh. Nope. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we're besties with Freya now. Favorite things. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, she... Even put a recipe for me here. 
In case you didn't get in the first time, I'm a big fan of Naaman and Harukami. Yeah, so there's that. What am I doing with my life? Working as a journalist because it's the best way to learn how to write better. Talk to people who have experienced more than you and get paid for learning things. I never th th thought about this that way. Green tea latte. So let's see. Do I have it? Green tea latte. Green tea, milk, and milk. Okay. Brew it. And of course, I need to make some latte art. Sorry for my poor skills in latte art. I tried my best to do this, but it's really coming something like this. And I really afraid that it can be something inappropriate. No. Nope. Yeah, the best and easiest way is to do it like this. Wait, what? What am I doing? What's this? Everything that I can make is a uh, smoke. Yeah, that's better than nothing. Whew. Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I was suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like, this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have the power to connect people's hearts. That's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey's. Has he visited this place again after our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. I should apologize for the commo commotion we caused. Please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Bailey's, Bailey's is, uh, or was, I don't know, my boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, is it okay for him to just ask you like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just customer, you're the owner of this place. And? It's an odd problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Hmm, the usual racist, racial problems then. Psst. Show some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on the questions you started. It's alright. Betty's in have different views on the importance of family. 
My family is pretty close and usually they are supportive. But when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that I'll be treated like a like a peasant. Bellis, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be keggies at times, I get it. But for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the relationship. You don't sound like the most succubi I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with this? He said we should just keep going. Just the same as we have been for the last 10 years. So you've been together for 10 years as a couple. And he's suggesting that both of you should just go on as usual. I mean, your relation for the past 10 years. That was without family, familial approval, right? Well, yes, but I want our relationship to move forward. I want family. Did he disagree with the idea of war marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then, then? It's not that simple. His family will disown him. Yes. He wants to marry you even if he, ha he has to leave his family? Yes. Problem solved then. Why do you have to care so much about what his, own, on his or your family thinks? Just marry him, make a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him take that sacrifice. Lua? Do you ever think about the risk when you started dating him? Yes, no, maybe a little bit. We don't think we will get this far. Huh. From what I can see, you're, you're the problem here. You're pretty greedy for wanting wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Oh man, stop talking! Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Baylis? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish, because I can do the same for him. I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same laugh as you have. The blood is uh, thicker than water. Mentality won't work here. Not every family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are, not his. Have you ever met Belly's family? No, they always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy's godmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose which one is the best for you. Pretty simple. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who always runs away, but thank you for the advice. Take care, take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. Bye. Yeah, I like Mr. Hyde. You were super harsh, old man. Hmm. But you agree with me, don't you? Well... You didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing here by yourself, anyway? Trying to pick a fight with everyone? I'm waiting for a friend. And here he is. Oh, there he is. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm, I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hoyt? 
stated facts harshly to someone that needed it but not the way you said it let me order a drink first they, then you folks tell me about what happened uh, what are you having this evening sir do you remember my fairy remedy fury i mentioned it a couple of days ago the one with ginger and caffeine yes can you help me try to figure out what it is true should i try mixing the ginger with tea yes tea ginger and i'm still not sure what the last one might be okay i'll try experimenting with it you know when you get it right okay tea ginger i think lemon maybe or maybe a milk let's go with lemon or no tea ginger okay honey let's do it like this no wait what is it um tea ginger and lemon no let's try last one tea ginger uh, uh, no 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 not honey tea ginger and milk yeah Ooh, latte art. Let's make some. I don't know what to do. I hope he he likes it. Let's try this one. Thank you, Chobo. Hmm, close, but I don't think this is it. What's missing? Next time, try switching the milk and the ginger. Wait, really? So... So it's this... So this is it, but... Another... Thanks. Okay, now I'm ready for the story. So, I was basically right, but... Oh, she's a bestie now. Oh. Myself, Samari, would remain stand up a search to see. You want some man must quit. Okay. Ah, that's very helpful. Favorite things. Lover of the bright. Moonlight. Believer in a life without a fight. I'm a big fan of art and poetry. What I'm doing with my life. Working 9 to 5. 9 to 5 in a trading company by day, going to poetry readings and museums on the weekends, and enraptured by the forbidden fruit. Ooh. Okay, I'm ready for the story. So, tell me what happened. He's a better storyteller than me. Alright, so there's the girl. Nah, I thought that I need to read it all over again. And that's about it. Hide, oh hide, you never change, do you? I think he do, right? She needed. You know, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now? Dude, honestly, it's good and all, but, you know, try not to not be a dick. Listen to her, Hyde. She's got a good point. Uh... Not you two. I was a bit surprised though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actively avoid it. <laughs> you don't know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I'm not involved in that discussion. I guess the wipe in this place has seeped into me. 
I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go. So soon? It's past midnight, I need to get some sleep. Take care on your, on your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Okay. Guys. Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. What do you want to talk about when you told me to meet you here? I was just bored. And that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough. To feel your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was something, indeed. Mm, you said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? You ever wonder what would be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late, anyway, I need to get back. Huh? Alright, Joe, well, thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. Gala, you need to understand. He enjoys your friend's friendship more than anyone. What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gala. Care for another drink to end the day? Heh. <laughs> sure. Oh, oh, Jahe to Brook. Ginger presides over the ground coffee in the bottom of the cup. Originally from Indonesia, Ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup. Hmm, interesting. So, I hope you enjoy it. Smash like if you did, leave your comments and subscribe. See you in the next videos. Bye!